This tutorial covers how to create, view, and edit test limits on Cassini. Uh, test limits can be created and modified at any time. Um, they are restricted to data save type variables, so this one for example, basically variables that save out to the worksheet. Um, the tools for, for creating and modifying limits are found in the limits menu. Um, so to get started, the first thing you have to do is create a limit file name. So to do that, you select new, and then the prompt will allow you to give it any name that you pick. And you can create as many limit file names as you want. So if I wanted to create another one, I could just add another. And if I want to delete a limit file, I just come up here to limit and I say delete and I select the one I want to get rid of. So once we've created a limit file, we have to select it in order for it to be active. So I come back up here to limits and I choose select and I pick my limit file. And now you see that it updates the title. So now it shows that I'm working with the LNA lab test plan with limits active and the limits I have active are QA. So any modifications I make are going to be to the QA limits. So now there's two different ways to to edit the limits, and I'll show you both. Uh, the most straightforward is just at the data save itself. You can right click on the button and select single value limit. And this pops open um, the set test limits options. So I can set a minimum and a maximum. You can do either or or both. Um, setting a minimum limit sets the criterion so that there's a fail up until the minimum is reached and then past that point are all passes. Setting only a maximum limit sets a, a pass criterion up to the maximum and then beyond the maximum is a fail. And if we set both values with something, for example, something like this, the pass criterion is only within the two values. So there's, there's two different kinds of limits associated with a save. So this save is just saving a single value, so I have a single value limit. Uh, but in cases of data saves where there's a sweep or there's multiple values being saved, um, you can have multiple limits. And so that's seen here. I have two options. I have a multi-valued limit and a single value limit. If I pick the multi-value limit, then it will display for me the variable that's changing. And so here I have its frequency, and I have six different frequencies to pick from, so I can set limits for each one. Uh, as well, I can pick the single value limit, and what this will do is any value I set, it's going to apply to all six. And I can verify that by going back to the multi-value. And here I can see the change I made is reflected in all six of the frequencies. Um, so this is one way to view and edit the limits. Um, in a test plan like this where I've got multiple panels and I've got multiple data saves, um, one way, maybe an easier way to see all the, the data saves and limits is to view it as a table. And so that can be accessed up in the limits menu under table. And here I get a tabular view that shows me all of my data saves in the left column. And then there are columns on the right side reflecting my min max limits. And I can update values in here as well just by holding down the alt key and then left clicking on the value and then I can make a change. So whereas before at the data save, we could just change values and say okay and it would save, any changes we make here in the table view, we have to save. Um, if we try and exit it out, it'll prompt us to save, or we can just come here to File and click Save, 
and now it's saved that value as a limit. Um, again, in, in a test plan this size, maybe um, doing edits within the table view or in the variables can be a little bit tedious. Uh, so you have the option to export this table view as a comma separated value. Um, so you can do that and it's typically good to start by putting a couple of values in and then doing an export and I'll show you what that looks like because it gives you a, a template to work off of. You just select export. Here you're getting a view of the file system so you can just give it a name and save it out to the file system. Say OK. And here I can come down and see what that looks like. So here's kind of a template. Now this can be imported into any sort of a worksheet type program like Excel to do edits. Um, along the same lines, you can import uh, CSV files. Uh, so that's just below here under the export. And here, just to give you an example, I created one earlier. You can see when you select it, it refreshes the view and now it's added in the limits that I that I created earlier. And so I want to keep these ones, so I'm going to go ahead and save those. And then close the table. And lastly, to, to view the results with the limits active, um, since the production one was a little bit more, let's select that one. And there's two ways to view the results with limits active. Um, you can view it in the worksheet and um, there's another option under the limits to view results. So um, I'm going to compile this in my simulator. And then I'll open up a worksheet. So you can see it adds in two extra columns to show the, the min-max limits next to the data save. And then results will be shown in these columns. And then the other option under limits, I can display result. So this view just shows me the data save name this column will show pass fail results and then the data will be shown in this last column. So I'll just go ahead and run it so we can see what that looks like. So here in the display result, you can see the pass fail and the data on the far right. And in the worksheet here, fails are color coded red, passes are left untouched and you can view all the results. For individuals and it gives you an overall result of the test plan. So that's a summary of test limits on Cassini.